Welcome to Cam Look, coming to you from the Cincinnati Art Museum, where every day at 10 a.m. we share an object from the permanent collection and bring questions for discussion. I'm Julie, a Cam docent. Today I'd like to share this poster by graphic artist Victor Moscoso, entitled Poster Show. It's an offset lithographic print that promoted an exhibition of rock concert posters, which was held in Dallas, Texas, in 1967. As we study Moscoso's work, you may need to grab your shades because, in the words of the artist, the musicians were turning up their amplifiers to the point where they were blowing out your eardrums. I did the equivalent with the eyeballs. Look closely among the stylized flowers for the words poster show beginning October 2nd, Neiman Marcus Exhibition Hall Dallas, North Park. Between 1965 and 1967, there was a convergence of young people on the Haight-Ashbury district of San Francisco. They adopted an idealistic, experimental, turn on, tune in, drop out lifestyle, centering on rock music and hallucinogenic drugs with a touch of Eastern philosophy. Can you pick out the yin-yang symbol in this poster? What does that mean to you in this context? With their hand-drawn, almost illegible wavy letter forms, trippy psychedelic colors, and appropriated images, the rock posters were unconventional design for an unconventional audience. This iconic 1967 poster in our collection also by Victor Moscoso, is advertising the Chamber Brothers at the Matrix, and it's a good example of the kind of art that was exhibited at the poster show in Dallas. As an aside, you might notice the sly visual reference to this poster in the promotional graphics for the 2000 movie Almost Famous. Born in Spain in 1936 and raised in Brooklyn, New York, Moscoso attended the Cooper Union Art School and Yale University School of Art. At Yale, he studied under Joseph Albers, whose color theories were an important influence. In 1959, he came to San Francisco to attend the Art Institute and later taught there. So Moscoso was well aware of the traditional norms of graphic design um, all the rules, um, enough to purposely break them all. He made lettering hard to read. He juxtaposed colors to vibrate in the eye. He discarded the notion that posters should transmit messages quickly and said that a poster should hang you up as long as possible. Similar to the explosion of advertising posters by artists such as Jules Charest, Alphonse Mucha and Toulouse-Lautrec for the Paris cabarets at the turn of the 20th century, advertising posters by Victor Moscoso and other artists for San Francisco concert venues almost 70 years later often reference the stylized natural forms of Art Nouveau. Can you spot any similarities to poster show in this 1899 poster by Mucha? That's also in our collection. I love the cosmic feel of poster show, the infinite landscape of flowers and the mysterious floating planet. Did the planet emerge from the flower field or is it about to land or will it float above the horizon through eternity? What does that mean? Whatever we make of it, it's far out. Peace.